Hello and welcome to this video on using the collision viewer and detecting and solving collisions that are occurring within the process simulate environment. In this case you can see we are choosing the option to automatically stop a simulation when a collision occurs. You can see here the collision viewer is open on the bottom. Now we have moved over to what's called the sequence editor which looks as you can imagine like a Gantt chart showing the different operations that are occurring uh, in sequence with what you see on the screen above. Now the first robot is coming in there, taking the workpiece, putting it into the rotating positioner, and the second robot is coming in for its spot weld operation. Now you can see they're flagged in red on both the positioner's wheel as well as the robot end of arm tool, that a minor collision is occurring there uh, between just that little extra bit out on the spot welding tool, end of arm tool. So here, we're going to use the sequence editor to drill down on exactly where that is occurring in the sequence of operations, and specifically the different motions that make up that spot welding robot's path. We're going to reset the sim, we're going to replay the simulation, and as that robot comes in, again, we are pinpointing where in the sequence editor and in the robot path planner that collision is occurring. And now that we have identified the motion within the path planner that is creating that collision, we are going to manually manipulate the position of that robot using the dialog box uh, for robot jogging. You can see we are rotating that spot welding gun inward just a little bit on its axis to prevent that collision from occurring. And now once we've done that, we will reset the simulation. And you can see here the robot is making that little extra motion to avoid that previous collision. Now many use cases in industrial automation will get more complex than this, obviously. But this is just uh, to provide you with a concept of the workflow for how a user would go about detecting this kind of collision in process simulate. and changing the robot motion program, the path plan, to avoid it. This, of course, is an alternative to having this happen in the real world and detecting this after the collision has occurred and caused damage to the end of arm tool and potentially a safety concerns for the people involved around this system. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to stay tuned for other Technomatics Process Simulate Essentials videos.